Today I'm going to show you guys how to I chop samples on FL Studio 12. I got this sample that my man um, Sears Beat sent to me, so here it is. that I'll leave a link to his uh, sample packs so let's go ahead and uh, load up uh, fruity slicer and uh, go ahead and uh, upload the, drag that to there and uh, let's not touch any of the knobs I want to make sure that um, it's gonna be 32 counts here let me let me go ahead and uh, open up a new pattern and name sample sorry guys i'm super ocd about this stuff so all right here we go so i'm going to take you to 32 beats and it's going to give me a tempo of 164 so let's go ahead and change our tempo to 164 now um so everything could be uh, matching and let's go ahead and click this um this cutting icon and we're going to uh, click on beat so now everything should be nice and synced up so let's go ahead and uh, as you guys can see everything's all evenly cut so let's hear it Go ahead and uh, oh yeah, if you, you guys could hear some of those clicking noises and at the start of each chop. So if let's move the attack up just a little bit, kind of takes it away. Yeah. All right, guys. Now let's get to the fun part. It's sequencing. I like to make sure that I have every foundation set up before I start doing the embellishments of the chop. So let's set up our all our our bass notes and our chord changes. So nice and even pattern now. So let's go ahead and play them. All right, guys. So here it is now. Here's what I've laid out so far. So let's go ahead and load up our Edison. Let's actually make sure we load that up on the master channel. Let's load up Edison. And uh, let's hit record and let's go ahead and play the chop. Okay, so that just allows us to record it um, and be able to manipulate, manipulate it better that way. So let's go ahead and clean up all the extra stuff from the from the sample from the recording. Sorry. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, maybe turn it back on. Sorry, guys. All right. Let's clean up this little part here at the end. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and drag it to the sequencer here. All right, and now let's play it. Actually, we, let's lock it so that way when we change tempos, um, the, the actual sample doesn't change its speed. So, 
I like to keep the same number. So if this is 164, let's go ahead and move up to, let's say 184. I like to keep it in the same number, you know. Sorry guys, I have to rename everything. All right, let's turn down a little bit. And I like to make sure I take out the low end so I could add an 808 or a base down the line. Um, I think everybody likes doing that stuff. And this is just, this is just all stuff for texture and flavor, you know, we're not, I'm not trying to do too much in this tutorial. We, we can get in depth a little more in, in another one, but but just for this for purposes, we're just gonna play with it just a little bit. I got some drums um, laid out already. It's nothing too crazy. It's literally just a kick, a snare, and a, and a hat. I like having my hats play on the offbeat. So it gives it a nice linear pattern. Again, shout out to my dude Serious Beats for sending me that sample pack from his um, from his website. Make sure you guys go check him out and follow him. He's a super cool dude. All right, so let's go ahead and add a, a little vinyl sound effect just to keep it or you know the sound organic as more as organic as possible um go ahead and rename this that's not how you spell vinyl here we go as you guys can see it's already stretched uh so i don't gotta do too much All right, so now we have a 808 that I uh, already laid out for you guys. And it's just it's just to match the bass notes from the original sample. It's just a eight regular 808. And I've also matched it to the to the kick pattern wise. Again, nothing too crazy. This is just for the tutorial purposes. You guys could get crazy with it on your own and you know, whatever. So here it is, here's a preview of it. Let's go ahead and hit to the master channel and brighten everything up a little bit. Let's go ahead and turn this down just a little bit and play everything. Again, this is just some minor leveling, you know, nothing too in depth just yet. Again, we can get into that in another tutorial. But yeah, guys, you know, basically, this is how I chop my samples in FL Studio. Um, if you guys have any questions for me or if I didn't get in, in depth as I should, please let me know. Till then, till next time, guys. Peace.